So here we are on Danny's 65 Vet. Um, I got the car running because it's always had a problem of it'll run until it gets hot and then it shuts down. So I got it running. I adjusted the car, but I adjusted the choke. The car's actually over there. I gotta do a little to that because the needle and seats are sticking too. So I'm just gonna go through it, but it ain't gonna be a, it's gonna be a quickie rebuild. Um, so it's got this ancient small block Chevy distributor in it and a Pertronics. Yeah, that's why when you give it throttle, it dies. Very similar to how uh, a Wix Galaxy was. We got a whole bunch of video on that. I don't know if I made those live yet, but that one's a big one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to make sure we have enough room. And then we's going to put, I'm just going to put an HEI in this baby and make our life about 5 million times easier. Back here on Danny's Vet. Um, taking out all this ignition stuff because we're getting ready to put an HEI in. First thing I notice, that's some quality work right there. Good God. All right, so we've marked our crank balancer. Marked it with silver Sharpie. You can't really see it, but it's at like 14 degrees for TDC, which is basically where this distributor was. So we'll use that as a baseline. I'm gonna pull this distributor out now. Get ready to put our HEI in. And there is our old crusty distributor that nobody decided to rebuild. But throw Bertronics in it. There's enough end play to. Yeah. At least they use the copper or the brass contact standard cap inverter. Not some super cheap crap. But you know, black rattle can work makes everything new. Think you could put a bigger ring terminal? That was sitting here as a ground. I believe for a relay. For the fan on the trans cooler. Could you get a bigger ring terminal? Jesus Christ. New distributor popped right in. All right, got our positive to our coil. We're just gonna do a little heat shrink. I gotta run our plug wires, and then we can try this baby out. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
definitely like it to be moving. You can see the temp gauge is just dropping out with airflow. But that's typical Corvette. Yeah. 